How is it you go? Well, now out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. Now I'd like to show you guys my top 10 favorite galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy. I would love to show you guys my top 10 favorite galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy about what galaxies are the most fun and stuff like that. If you guys can give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that as we talk about my top 10 favorite galaxies in Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. Without further ado, let's it go. Coming at number 10 on my list, we have Boone, Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. Um, and it only has one star racing the Spooky Speaster. The reason why this one's at number 10 is because this is really, really fun to play. It's very chill to play. And you can beat it really easily with no problem with some practice. It's very, very fun. Um, because you go in this pipe, and then you can easily just do this. It is a fun galaxy to play. Then you get the boost over here, and then you can use it, and then you're supposed to use it to race this big boot right here. And then when you race this boo, the easiest way to do this is to go to the right without pressing any buttons except for the joystick. And then only shake it the Wii remote whenever you get near a platform they have to shake the Wii remote to vanish through. And only use the A button when you get to sections like this. As long as you follow these rules of this level, you should be able to beat it every single time, no problem. That is all I have to say about Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. It's a small galaxy, so there's not a lot I have to say about it. So now moving on. Number nine on my list has to be Deep Dark Galaxy from the Garden Dome. The reason why I say Deep Dark Galaxy at number nine on the list is because, of course, it's a water level. We know I love water levels in video games. Excuse me. Plus, it's really fun to play. It has a lot of exploration in it, and you can explore a lot. And then whenever you fight this guy, you, you fight Camilla on the first star of it, and then on the second star of it, you fight this guy, which you can just backflip, spin, and then ground pound. Repeat this three times, and then you win. Backflip and spin, and then when you land on him, jump and ground pound. You have to watch out for these bubbles, because they will blast you everywhere. But don't worry, they're not hard to avoid. Because they're not that hard to avoid. They're pretty easy to avoid if you know what you're doing. And then, take out these crabs right here, and then you can do that, and then... And then you have to light these torches, which will give you... With the fire flower, which will, give, which will rather... Open the gate on the first star of it, or give you the ice flower on the second star of it. And the easiest way to get to that is to go in the cannon and blast yourself up here. Blast yourself to the star power so you can collect the star power to take out these Octumbas right here. So that these Octumbas will go away. So they won't be shooting no rocks in your face. And so now you grab the fire flower. And then once you grab the fire flower, you got it this. Use it to go this way. And then long jump from here to here. And then just light these torches. It's kind of like something from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, <clears throat> and then with the ice flower, you can walk on water. Like I'll demonstrate it right here. And you can skate on water too by shaking the Wii remote when you're walking on the water. That's all I have to say about Deep Dark Galaxy, so now moving on. Number 8 on my list is Battle Rock Galaxy, located at the Fountain Dome. The reason why I say Battle Rock Galaxy for number 8 is because this galaxy, of course, has some epic music and, and it's very chill to play. <laughs> And you have this. <clears throat> and it's quite easy to play. And you have this. 
And then if you want to get more star bits, there's an easy way to do it. Take the bob bomb with him to explode these crystals. Or these glass cylinders or whatever they're called. And then once you do that, you can do that. And then you can get you can do it over here. And then you can get more star bits. And then if we'll go on to a launch star, you grab the bob bomb. And then once you grab the bob bomb, take him. Throw him over there and have him explode. It. Simple as pie. And I just love the beautiful colors in this galaxy and I love the background <clears throat> and stuff like that. My favorite star of this galaxy is probably the second star. Of <clears throat> I just really like this star. That's really all to say about Battle Rock Galaxy, so now the new moving on. Number seven on my list is Gusty Garden Galaxy. The reason why this is number seven is because you're just there to chill and have a good old time. You're just there to do that. Because this level is so chill to play, like, and it's so beautiful. You're there and have a good old time. And these levels, and the levels here are really fun to play. The graphics look perfect and everything like that. And it's very easy to speedrun this. Making it really fun to speedrun. Excuse me. So, you're just there and have a good old time. So. And then you can just do this. And there we go. And then you're on the dandy line. You can do this. And then you hear this glorious music. And then, yeah, the only danger you have in this level are the piranha plants, which you can avoid easily, no problem. You can shoot a star bit to stun them, and then just run into them. And you can get rid of them, no problem. And then you can, you can travel from planet to planet, and it's so fun to do this. And the music is so hype and epic to listen to. And then... That's all I have to say about the Gusty Garden Galaxy, so now moving on. Number six on my list is Drip Drop Galaxy. The only star it has is Giant Eel Outbreak. This has to be my favorite underwater level in this game because it's just so peaceful to play. Like, it's so chill to play. The music is really awesome, and everything about it is great. Everything about it is just absolutely fabulous. That's why it's number six on my list. And the strategy to beating it is simple. You just gotta grab the red shell and then use it to get rid of um, the eels. And then once you do that, the star is yours. And this, is, this has some epic music. It has some epic and peaceful music to do. Give, give you a feel of epicness and help you relax at the same time. So, it's a gorgeous galaxy because the water looks pretty and, and stuff like that. And it just looks so gorgeous to play through. And look at the, and the fish look gorgeous as well. 
That's all I really have to say about this galaxy, so now moving on. Number five on my list has to be the Space Junk Galaxy from the Fountain Dome. The reason why I say number five, this is number five, is because Space Junk Galaxy is just really, really peaceful. And it's just really, really, and it makes you want to go to space for real due to its peaceful atmosphere and relaxing design. And all you're doing here is going from full star to full star. And it's just really, really chill to play, and, and it's actually quite easy, and it's very, very chill. You just happen to go from full star to full star while enjoying the space, while exploring around the universe. And that's all you're doing. Then you have to collect these star chips here. <clears throat> By the way, this is the first star. This is the first galaxy you get you're introduced to Camilla, and you fight Camilla on the second star of this galaxy. And you can collect some star bits here, like this. And that's all you have to do. Uh, and now you go from full star to full star like this. And it's just so peaceful to look at this. And it just has a beautiful background. That's all I can say about this, so now moving on. Number four on my list is Toy Time Galaxy located at the Engine Dome. The reason why I say Toy Time Galaxy is number four on my list of top ten favorite galaxies in this game. What I really enjoy about Toy Time Galaxy is the atmosphere, because the atmosphere is awesome. <clears throat> and then there's toys in the background, and I loved playing, playing with toys as a child. And it reminds me of my childhood. Part of it reminds me of Thomas the Train. And this is just absolutely fabulous. First galaxy, you can get you introduced to the spring suit right here. And then you just have to do this, and then the background looks gorgeous. Then you have to, and then you have to watch out for everything like this. And then you have the cake right here you get closer to. That's, that's it. Because you have lots of imagination going wild in this galaxy. And stuff like this. And then stuff like that. And then like that. And that's really all to say about Toy Time Galaxy, so now moving on. Number three on my list is Loop De Loop Galaxy from uh, from the from the Terrace Dome. This is the only one from the Terrace Dome on the list of my top ten favorite galaxies in this game. <laughs> So, what you gotta do here is, um, the reason why this one's one of my favorites is because you gotta talk to this penguin here, and then he'll be asking you to see whether or not you wanna surf. He'll be asking you about surfing, or whether or not you wanna hear the tutorial. Because, and then you have to hold A to mo go forward, and you have to tilt the wheel mode left and right to steer. And it's a really straightforward star, of course, so. <laughs> And it's just a main ride surfing level, and it's a level you can just enjoy. There's so much enjoyment in this level.
just have to go on this race. As you can see, I'm racing on this like this, and then you just have to do this in order to get the first place. That's all I'd say, so now moving on. Number two on my list has to be Melt Multi Melt Melty Molten Galaxy from the Garden Dome. The reason why this is number two on my list is because I love the lava, because the lava looks gorgeous. And and the soundtrack sounds epic. The music sounds epic here. And I love the levels here. And they're fun. The music sounds hype and epic. And then, and then everything looks chill, and everything is laid back here, and stuff like that. And it's quite easy to go through. And it's one of the easier lava, lava levels of play in the Mario game. And I don't know why there's some people that think Melty Molten Galaxy is so hard. It really isn't, because the patterns of each obstacle are so slow and easy to learn. And everything moves at such a fast pace, making it really fun to speed run. And then it's just quite, it's just quite open world galaxy. Like, it's so open world. Like, that's why it's my second favorite galaxy in the game. And then you just got to this. And then if you hit this switch right here, this is the one you get you get to fight Fury Dino Piranha in. Yeah. And then stuff like that. Now we'll talk about my favorite galaxy of this game. You I want I, I don't know if you guys will be surprised or not. You might be or you might not be. So we'll just have to see. Alright, you've guessed it right. Freeze Flame Galaxy has to be number one for my favorite galaxy of the game. This has to be my number one favorite as Freeze Flame Galaxy. You want to know why? Because it's freezing cold on one side of the galaxy and burning hot on the other side of the galaxy. And that's so unique. And that's what I really like about this one. It's the most unique galaxy and it's my favorite galaxy. And then you start out on the ice. The first level is all ice level. And then the um, second and third ones have fire and ice. And the only level in Freeze Flame that has a boss is just the um, first level of it. And that's against Bird on Bird. Um, and then you have Star Chips and Clay right here. And then you catch down a penguin on the first star of it. Seems quite simple, right? And it is. And then we just got to this. And then you have a pull star here you can use to go into the lock star. And then when you're in lock star, just shake your Wii remote to blast off. So. And then, when you get to the burning hot side, it reminds me a little bit of the Melty Molten Galaxy. Um, so, this part is really, really epic. So, that's why it's my favorite galaxy of the entire game. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite galaxy in this game is and why. I would love to know in the comments. And have a wonderful day, guys.